Right, so this here is um, the USB-C hub from Inatech. It's the HB9003. Now, they've sent it to us because they wanted us to test it with a Mac with a USB-C output. And we don't have one of those, but we thought, oh, that's useful. Look, it's got a USB 3 port. It's got an SD card reader. It's got a micro SD card reader. It's got a gigabit Ethernet port. That's cool. HDMI, VGA, and basically, you can see here, look, I've got some stuff plugged in already. It's quite small. The little USB-C cable plugs in there, so you can carry it around very easily. You've got a USB, let's, let's focus that in. You've got a uh, various things plugged in, which I'm going to unplug now so you can show, so you can see a bit easier what ports you've got. So there's a USB-C slot on the left-hand side there. So you can feed that through, so you can daisy chain a USB-C um, peripheral. You've got two USB ports there in blue, and then you've got an SD card reader there on the lower right, and a micro SD card reader above it. On the other side, as you can see I've already got plugged in, is a USB-C power feed on the right hand side there. And we've got a one gigabyte, one gigabyte, one gigabit uh, LAN port, and a VGA and a HDMI out. Now, I thought, hang on a minute, we don't actually have Mac. Well, I have got a Mac, surprisingly, but I haven't got one with a USB-C port. So, I'm going to show you something else that you can do with this, and uh, involves the Huawei P10. Now, we did a review of the Huawei P20 recently, and we mentioned the desktop mode. So, I'm just going to show you the desktop mode in action. Plugged in, and instantly we get this, the virtual keyboard and mouse. Now, imagine the pad on your laptop. Now, if I put it this way, it's going to act as a pad, a touchpad. So, what it also does is it puts this on your TV screen. So, this is the Huawei um, desktop mode, and you can see if I put my finger on here and use it as a touchpad, I get a mouse. You see that on the screen. This is the desktop mode. You can see it's quite low resolution. That's, but if I go into Chrome, I can double tap on my little phone. Here's uh, BBC News, I can browse around that and uh, I can click on the various stories, it will load and it's going to use the Wi-Fi on the phone to actually get to these stories. Of course you can um, use the Ethernet if you wish and pipe that through. Now you'll notice here I also have my USB pen drive. So let's see if we can use that. So if I go into files here, I can see I've got local storage which is already a quite substantial 128 gigabytes, which is pretty cool. But if I go down here, I've got a USB drive as well that you can see. Go into the USB drive and I can see I've got loads of other stuff in there too. I can plug in more USB drives. I can also, if I go here and I go into say notepad, I can also write a new note. Let's make that a bit bigger. And I can plug in a USB keyboard, which I have done here, it's quite a basic USB keyboard. And I can type hello there, and it pops up on the screen. And I can type really quick. That effectively makes the phone a computer in a way. You've got um, a very basic sort of browsing and um, interface here, the desktop mode is fairly basic. But, you can see here, you can see what's going on with your phone, what you're connected to, what Bluetooth kit you've got in, whether you're using mobile data, etc. You can see what date and time it is here. We can act, use all the phone buttons. You can also switch down here on the phone to out of desktop mode, whoops, into phone mode. When you're in phone mode like this, everything that displays on the screen displays onto your TV too. So you can see here I'm in landscape mode, oh that's better, that's landscape mode. I can now, everything I do on the phone here is reflected on the screen. So that's the other way of doing it which is really good and you can see here it's called easy projection and everything that you would expect to be able to use on your phone you can use on um, your TV screen as well. So if we're going to YouTube and we maybe put that in big. Let's type in uh, Retro Ravi, which I found last night and did a story about. And we'll watch a video. And it comes up very well indeed 
on this big screen plays very well I must admit the only thing I would like maybe is to get a slightly better resolution but that's in let's have a look what resolution that's in that's in 480p let's whack that up to 1020 can we get any closer okay so that's maybe not the best video to demo let's go back and see if we can get something with a slightly higher resolution let's go to this retro man cave one I'll go in there and I'll make sure the resolution here yeah, it's on 1020 so there you go that comes out really well so that is the Huawei uh, it's available I believe on the P10, the P20, P20 Pro and it's called desktop mode and you can use it with bits of kit like this USB-C hub and you can plug in regular USB bits of kit so I haven't tried it yet with USB headsets or anything like that but it means that I can effectively use an old phone obviously the P10 and the P20 aren't old at the minute but I can use that as a full-on desktop replacement pretty cool